Not only has Netflix been spearheading a massive change in the Hollywood marketplace as a whole, but the digital streaming service has also built an original programming slate that's challenging award season norms and giving some beleaguered actors another shot at thriving in the fame game. Here are some stars who've enjoyed a serious second career win thanks to Netflix. Adam Sandler it's no secret that Adam Sandler's filmography is a divisive one. Some of his earlier picks earned wide appreciation, like Billy Madison, The Waterboy, and Big Daddy. Others were passion projects built for the critical crowd, like Punch Drunk Love and Funny People. But some were liked by almost no one. And since it's his commercial success that's carried Sandler through decades of off-the-wall film fare, that batch of box office bummers and critical letdowns has become problematic for Sandler. The price is wrong, bitch. Consider the critically obliterated Jack and Jill and his flop dad comedy That's My Boy. Even his would-be smash pixels failed to live up to the hype, which proved unmistakably that Sandler's signature shtick wasn't landing quite as well as it used to. But Netflix still had faith in the slapstick comedian and provided him a platform for a whopping eight movies that people are actually watching. As of April 2017, a half billion hours of Sandler projects had been screened on the site between The Ridiculous Six, The Do-Over, and Sandy Wexler. With at least a handful of Sandler films left to go on the site, there's no doubt he's a company man for Netflix now. Natasha Lyonne In the 90s, Natasha Lyonne was a bona fide movie star for a brief spell, with leading roles in films like Slums of Beverly Hills and American Pie. Somewhere along the way of gearing up for the sequel, she lost her traction in Tinseltown and she started landing just bit parts in TV shows and little seen movies. But Netflix's hit series Orange is the New Black came along at just the right time for her as she was still a recognizable enough face and her talent hadn't budged an inch in her absence from the spotlight. In the series, she stars as the troubled inmate Nikki Nichols, who vacillates between being among the most earnest and intelligent members of the Litchfield prison population to the most damaged and uncontrollable of the lot. It's a meaty role for Leon to delve into, even if she doesn't appear in every single episode, and she started to pick up more prestige work as a result of the series like a recurring role in Portlandia. Ethan Embry As a child star of the 80s, Ethan Embry was an absolute hitmaker with feel-good holiday favorites like Dutch and All I Want for Christmas. Even his teen years were kind to his career, with his memorable supporting roles in Empire Records, That Thing You Do, and Can't Hardly Wait. But somewhere around the turn of the millennium, Embry's star status started to significantly fade. He still did enough work to keep the lights on, of course, but the caliber of films and TV shows he was earning placement in was a far cry from the mainstream movie scene he'd grown up in. His recurring role in Netflix's Grace and Frankie, however, seems to be turning the tide. Not only is it the first truly regular TV role he'd had in a decade, but it's given him a chance to fully break away from that wholesome cherubic boy image he'd been associated with for so long. Oh, what do you mean? It's looking good. That's great! We did it! Ha <laughs> Give me five! Britt Marling This Chicago native has had more than her fair share of splashy screen moments in her still young career. Count Another Earth and Sound of My Voice among her buzziest projects. But Britt Marling has still had trouble establishing herself as a leading star despite noteworthy attempts on the indie circuit until Netflix came along and gave her fever dream project The OA a chance. Overnight, she went from that woman you might have seen in the background of that one movie to a completely compelling show creator and lead star whose continued work on the series was heavily in demand for a second season, and whose future project ideas are undoubtedly going to get the top of the pile treatment from here on out. Rosario Dawson It may be hard to believe that Rosario Dawson's career ever needed a shot in the arm, but after the actress hit it big with films like Men in Black 2, Seven Pounds, and Sin City, casting directors appeared to cool on the actress for several years before she nabbed a prime place in the Marvel Netflix show universe, starting with Daredevil in 2015. She's since reprised her role as Claire Temple through almost all of the sister properties, and appears to be recapturing her mainstream momentum even outside of the MCU with parts in the Lego Batman movie and X-Men The New Mutants. Deborah Ann Wool. True Blood fans were widely taken by then newcomer Deborah Ann Wool's vexing screen presence. But she's had a hard time establishing herself outside of Bon Tomp ever since that HBO series came to an end. Thanks to a series of straight to DVD fare, it seemed like Wool might not ever find her niche outside of the fang banging scene. Luckily, she earned a top spot in Netflix's Daredevil adaptation just in the nick of time, and now she's spanning the Netflix MCU series with her character Karen Page appearing in The Punisher and The Defenders. Winona Ryder. For over a decade, Winona Ryder had reached icon status in Hollywood thanks to her unforgettable on-screen presence in films like Edward Scissorhands, Beetlejuice, and Girl Interrupted. But her reputation went very south in 2001 when she was caught shoplifting from a department store. She had a great deal of trouble reaching the A-list again after that, even despite some notable performances in films like Black Swan and The Iceman. 
But Netflix's Stranger Things has put her right back on the map with her delightfully off-kilter turn as Joyce Byers, the mother of a boy who's been kidnapped by a toothy monster. She's still seen as a little bit of a kook, especially with her ultra-memeable appearance at the SAG Awards, but thanks to Netflix, she's in the news for her acting again instead of her legal troubles. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel, plus check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.